strong hand of horses this year in the three star. We'll see Fernhill Phillips. He'll be the last out. RF Ravano Rex bowls down the hill with Meredith Little. Mike will come beautifully over that big fence and this is very impressive. Marsha. Yeah again you can just see her ride so positively forward across the country. She would really like oh. to get these horses around, get herself called. Go, go. Away goes Colleen Rutledge with her own Dylan out on the cross country over the first. And includes running home as Marsha said, this has been a copybook round. And I'm sure one that will be very good in the show jumping tomorrow. So she can apply the pressure on Boyd Martin. Ride around early, so here she is back out again on a young horse, Dylan. And to our left, Marilyn Little coming down to the second to left. Again, making it look here. And she's on seven minutes. Oh, come on, Nina, push, push. Good boy, Jazz. At this stage, well, give her a very good chance of victory tomorrow. We'll see. Boyd Martin will speak about that later. Her pupil has just gone around superbly, just ahead of her. the water with Veronica. Go Jazz. Big white grail in and then the bounce out. As Marsha said, heading for Bukalo in the Netherlands at the end of the season. It's just three weeks time now. Nina Liggan. Dressage tie for fourth along with Jan Binion in mid-air. We'll see them later. Marsha, he angles the through the Dubarry Water Camp Complex, absolutely spot on. But sadly here there was a four. And a great visual with Philip Dutton turning to the first water. And a horse just at the back end of the course as well. It's a lot to look at. And that clearly a very popular finish for Stephen Bradley. Looks like Lauren is coming in. Nina Ligon for Thailand, Fernhill Fearless over the London gate at five. I'm sure London will be a big theme for her next year. And a lot of riders here at Plantation Field sizing up the 2012 Olympics in Greenwich Park. She's at six. Big jump in. Just stutters over the coffin, but as Jenny said, this is a wonderful cross country horse. Come on, Nina, get him going. I can't believe just a 0.1 lead she enjoys over Boyd Martin. Those scores will be confirmed, but really making her mark at top level eventing. Up now to the Amy Roof yep. Sunken Lane Complex. Is this on the other yeah, yeah. Yeah, the back Good shot in there, and the oh, one, yeah, two, and it. three out. That was beautiful. Really, really appreciate it. Nina Liggett. Turns Fernhill Fearless to the Dubarry Water Complex. Very straight, beautiful jump in. Oh, as big as we've seen, landing. Turns to the corner. Oh yeah, super stuff. Let's have a cheer, Plantation. Come on. 
Dude, the whole show, I know some kind of funeral procession. Jesus. <laughs> Maybe you need to do some Borat impressions. That'll get people laughing. Yes, yeah, so this is uh, my uh, home. It's, uh, a long way from my home in Kazakhstan, but it's very nice here. Uh, I'm not even laughing at that. My God. Even Glafkin will have a giggle at eight. Final thing. Thinking about, thinking about his brain tonight. Go, go for days, of course. All the talent in the world and all the movement as well. And obviously a great run. Down to the big Oxa. Nina Liggett, the handbrake is well and truly off because Fernhill Phyllis is flying down towards the Brushwood Farm. Brushes at 14. If you that one person is probably out there that's going to probably get that time, it would be Nina. She's a very efficient, fast cross country runner. Oh, well, we believe just two inside the time. There is the great prize from. SS of the three star. It looks very much like that SSG glove, and if he wasn't, he hasn't been listening to me. Sensible man. Nina Ligon. Oh, Fernal Fearless is flying. Anyway, and pretending he wore them, I'm sure. Nina Ligon is in full cry. Down to the last complex. Nina, we'll see. Fernal Fearless at the last. Beautiful round.